Okay, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a surf candy style fly. Now the surf candy was invented by the famous Bob Popovich, the leading fly tire and designer. A lot of Bob's designs are very very popular around the world today. Now I'm going to be tying slightly different uh, materials to the original. Bob uses super hair or supreme hair or unique hair for his. Um, today I'm going to be tying with one of my own favourite materials and that's Saibay saltwater flash hair. Now this is a great hair, it's so versatile, you can use it for saltwater flies, you can use it for big pike flies to add lots of flash and movement to your flies. It's, uh, I just can't get enough of this material at the moment. You can get this in our shop, silverscalesflytying.co.uk and today I'm going to be using white and olive. And I'm also going to be adding just a little extra flashaboo. This is our Magnum flashaboo. It's one millimeter wide, wider and a bit stronger than standard flashaboo. And I'll just add a little bit down the sides of the fly. You probably see it there, just to give it an extra little flash. Because sand eels, when they're feeding and they turn you get a flash from the flank that just helps to give that effect i think you can probably see it there okay so let's get a fresh hook in the vise and show you how to tie this fly okay so i've got a size 4 sakuma 410 stainless steel hook one of my favorite hooks millions of Fish around the world have been caught on these hooks, super sharp Japanese hooks with a beaked point. Gives you extra grip so that the fish doesn't fall off. And I've got some 140 thread here and I'm just going to start by laying down a short thread base at the front of the hook. Like so, there we go, right, now I'm going to tie the material in, in reverse and then fold it back over, so I'm going to start with the belly, so I'm going to turn the fly over, now you'll notice the thread isn't quite up to the eye of the hook, it's sat just slightly back, maybe a millimetre or so back from the eye. This is so I can attach the material and then wind down to the eye in preparation for folding it back. So I'm going to invert the hook. I've got the white side bay flash hair here. It's a wing and flash type material. So you've got some very fine nylon type fibers in there and some sort of crinkled flashaboo which gives a, a scale effect. I don't know if I can get hold of a individual strand, whether you can just see it slightly crinkled, look. There, and you can see once tied in, it'll give sort of a scale effect. Anyway, so I'm gonna take a bunch of the flash hair about so thick probably half a pencil's worth in thickness okay so I'm going to trim that off the main bunch okay I'm going to tie this one about, so we're trying to achieve a sand deal effect, so we want a fairly long 
of course the surf candy was designed to imitate a variety of inshore bait fish depending on where you are around the world and what sort of profile the bait fish have but here in the UK especially where I am I'm trying to imitate the local sand deals so I'm going to go about what's that about four inches one two three yeah about four inches Okay, as I say, I'm going to tie this in the opposite way around. So in other words, take the end of the hair, place it on the hook, and just wrap it in, make a few wraps, secure it in place, like so. Okay, still not going quite down to the eye of the hook yet. So I'm going to turn it over and tie in some of the olive saltwater flash hair. There you are. You can see you get lots on the bunch. It's actually hanked. So it's divided into two by a cable tie. So you get lots and lots of material for your money. Look at that. You get lots of flies out of it. Good value material. Again, I'm going to take a sort of half a pencil thickness of hair. <clears throat> Just make sure it's about the same. Well, it is the same length as the other piece. again it's quite a simple fly to tie in this version right I've taken the thread all the way up to the eye of the hook now I'm going to get the hair and I'm just going to fold it back like so Okay, and you can see what I'm trying to achieve in a moment. I'm going to coat this in solar res. Again, a new product in the silver scale shop. One of the best UV resins that there is. Cures totally dry, no stickiness, no tackiness, no needing to coat it with varnish afterwards. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. So what I do now is just make sure I've got all the, the hair folded back. Just make a couple of wraps around the front of the material. Just use a bit of saliva to control the material if you need to. Okay. Like that. Right. I'm going to prepare the solar res and I'll show you how to form the head and body. Of right, the, the good thing about these little handy fly tie tubes that they do is it's got a built in nozzle. So you're not paying extra for plastic dispensing nozzles or anything like that. Keeps everything nice and clean. And these small tubes are relatively inexpensive to buy. So you've always got a fresh, clean supply of 
UV resin rather than quite you know the bigger bottles if you don't get through very much in a year shelf life can vary again depending on where you are and um, you end up wasting it so solar res think that if you have a slightly smaller tube at the right price it doesn't hurt to buy two or three of these a year and then you don't waste any and it's economical and good value for money so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply some of the solar as thick to this hair just keep pulling it back until you've got enough of the resin for the head. Now, the good thing about using the thick is it doesn't run through the fibres. Some of the resins are a bit thin and you apply them and they start running along the fibre and that sort of makes a messy head. But the thick doesn't do that, it stays where it is, it stays where you put it. So you can get a nice, neat head. Just keep turning the fly around. You don't have to rush with this. As I say, the resin doesn't run. So you can just take your time and get the profile that you want. with what I've got on there I'm gonna zap it with the torch just put the lid back on quickly for a moment okay so what we do is we just pull all the fibers back and give it a quick zap with the torch. Okay. There we go. Now you can see I've let go of the fibres and it stays exactly where it is. Right, now we've done that initial stage, I'm going to take some of our Magnum Flashaboo and I'm just going to you notice I didn't whip finish yet just going to add a piece of Magnum Flashaboo down either side as I said earlier just to give it that shiny flank effect that sand deals have I leave a little tag and then fold that back and that just helps to give it extra security there you go you can see the piece of flash of boo there shimmering in the light and I'm going to do the same on the other side like that Again, just leave a little tag as you fold back okay oop broke the thread here's a tip when you break the thread just feed it back through just carry on from where you left off just catch your threads back in again like so right I'm going to whip finish now doesn't matter too much on this fly because it's going to be the, the threads are going to be covered in solar res anyway I'm just going to do a few whip finishes make sure the threads are bedded down nicely so we get a neat head Trim it off. Okay. 
and then all it is is simply a case of this stage applying your eyes and then coating it in the resin which I'll show you okay. now. I've just popped the eyes on they just sat on top of the flasher boot and all I'm going to do now is start putting the next coat of solar as on. Okay. back, tuck the eyes are nice and flat against the fly, or the head should I say, and give it a little zap with the torch. And once they're nicely secured on there, we can just carry on applying solar res. You start off with nice thin layers of your resin. Don't try and put too much on all at one go. You'll get a much neater end result. Okay. carry on building the layers of resin up, cover the eyes completely now Keep rotating the fly in the vise just to keep the resin distributed evenly and keep zapping until you're happy with the head profile. Okay. Okay, and then once you're happy, you can add some gills in with a Sharpie or a hot spot, bleeding spot. Just cover that in a bit of resin as well. And there we have a side bay flash hair saltwater candy, surf candy. Thanks for watching.